Hey, I'm Mike. And I'm Clark. Cool. And we are three quarters of Hotel Mira. We are on a very long, long tour. We started in Atlanta, went up the East Coast, dipped into Canada for a bit, and now we're driving home to Vancouver through the Midwest, which brings us here to Chicago. Uh, we're gonna show off the van, our tour rig. Let's hop inside. All right, so this is the interior of Vandoff the White, our noble steed for this tour. We kind of we kind of defaulted into these seats because the three of us share driving loads. But uh, Cole's, Cole was driving today. I usually take Navi duties, which uh, also includes DJ. And um, the power outlet is back there. So we're, there's usually back left for like, you know, charging and being on your laptop and stuff like that. The important distinction is that there's the day driver and then there's the dad at the end of the night. Dad has to drive us back to the hotel or wherever after the show. Shorter shift, but you don't get to. Very important. You don't get to drink the show. show. I'm dad tonight. So it's two rotations. There's the highway driver during the day rotation, and there's the dad at the end of the night rotation. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of how we determine the rotation, uh, we just kind of drive until we just don't feel like it anymore. Like we try not to do like true hero shifts, but um, I prefer the hero shift. I know. Once but I'm behind the Clark wheel, is... I just want to get us where we're going. Uh, but it's kind of one of those things where if you're just not feeling it, you can trade out and, and none of us really complain about it because it's just like, you know, driving long hours on long roads and it's very, um, it gets to you sometimes. Yeah. Being behind the wheel, I guess. Safety first. Safety yeah. first, yeah. In Canada, there's a lot of long drives and you just don't want to drive once you get tired. Canada's you know, as soon as wild. you get tired, you stop driving, trade out. Yeah, Canada's wild because you can drive for 14 hours and still be nowhere. DJ duties usually falls on me, uh, or it's mostly in Navi, but I'm also usually Navi, so um, how how the system works is that I'll ask the driver what they want to listen Dr to. Driver gets first driver pick. Driver gets first pick. And veto capability. Yes, um, but I would say like 80% of the time, they're usually pretty good about it in terms of just like very easy, like, oh, I figured out, or like they'll give me like a description, like Clark's very my, much like... Yeah. No, nothing too sleepy is my usual uh, yeah. usual request. Yeah, so, and from there I'll kind of curate like a little bit of a playlist. <laughs> yeah, I'm very big on like regional uh, music, so it's just like if we're rolling into a certain city, um, I really want to like put on a band that is from this city. Like when we rolled into Chicago today, um, I kind of made like a bit of a playlist to be like, that you didn't know this band was from Chicago, and it was like Smashing Pumpkins and some others. And of course we listened to Sufjan's Chicago as we entered the city limits, as is tradition. Yeah, there's often the low hanging fruit of any song that names the city that we're rolling into, yeah, yeah. Mike likes to put on. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then of course we listened to the band Chicago as well, but like, yeah, in, in terms of that it's kind of like, listening to new records, listening to some classics. It's pretty like a lot of the Eagles and Steely Dan. And like, um, I'm trying to think. Usually full records. Yeah, Sometimes like. Sometimes playlists or yeah. a bit more of a. The occasional podcast. We went through a podcast phase on our last year's winter tour. We listened to a lot of a podcast called Tape Notes, which is kind of like audio production. And like, they basically interview a band about their records and stuff like that. So that's really cool. But that's usually what happens in the van. And there's usually always something playing. Like, it's very, like, I kind of have a rule that I don't actually, I haven't said out loud yet, but I don't know if you've noticed I've done it, but it's like, no music till the highway because like it's unfamiliar cities and like crazy tight turns. Yeah, so. you like that rule. I don't like that. Rule. I know. This but... morning I wanted sound immediately. Before <laughs> and I was like, Mike, why isn't there music on? And you're music, like, we're not out of the city yet. Music yeah. and strong navigation simultaneously yeah. is always ideal, yeah. but sometimes you have to pick one or the other. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's usually how DJ works. Our old rental for half the tour had a DVD player, so we were joking about like carrying DVDs with us, but... A lot of empty coffee cups. A lot of empty coffee cups. Of garbage. Clark's really trash. good at... I do my best yeah. to get the garbage out of the he, van. The boys don't like it for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. They they put up a fuss, but, you know, someone's it's gotta not do the, it. It's not the fuss of cleaning up. It's that we'll just stop and you'll be like, garbage, let's go! And we're like, okay. Just you like gotta stay on top of the garbage or else it really builds up. And then there's nowhere to put the fresh cup of coffee because the dead one's right in the spot. That is true. That was a tough Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. more than I've ever thought about it from that logistical we standpoint. We are 100% fueled by coffee, so it's pretty crucial. The most interesting thing I think we have in this car is our manager uh, gave us this like Bluetooth receiver so we can like tune into a radio thing. Um, but then, so we've been renting Dodge Caravans for probably about a year and a half now. Like I don't know like if it was intentional, but they just it just so happens that's how the you know how the cards fall with rentals. Um, and so we have this Bluetooth receiver, ironically plugged in because after probably 18 months of renting Dodge Caravans, we realize you can just connect your phone to the 
the, the thing because like this is like a mid to 2010s uh, you know anything with an aux port usually doesn't have immediate bluetooth capabilities but turns out this one does who knew welcome to the back seat this is where the you know the pe the two people who are off duty get to hang out yeah um benefits of the back seat you got a charging port back here like a regular old wall out got a series of belongings strewn about as we get later and later into the tour more and more random loose things kicking around we've got jackets we've got shirts we've got water bottles usually if there's any uh, water bottles left over from the rider of the show we walk out with them because they're nice to have for the van this was a bag that was gifted to us from a fan in atlanta it was charlie's birthday charlie being the fourth member of hotel mira who is not uh in this interview right now um it was his birthday, our first show on this tour, May 23rd in Atlanta. Um, a fan uh, gave us a, a bag of just like gifts and we have since repurposed the bag into just kind of like a catch-all carry-on for the van. Shout out to Wash. Shout Thanks out to Wash, what up? Lots of, lots of waters. I, I don't ever sit back here really, so like everything in here, like Charlie's sunglasses is here. I don't know what that is. Headphones. What's on your side? The, That's Cole's. This is Cole's special receipt pouch. He's been tasked with most of the tour managing duties, so he's got some receipts that he probably wants to take a picture of, or maybe he's just holding on to for fun. A couple little uh, drum screws he bought today. Wasn't even sure if he needed them. <laughs> yeah. Um, Chicago drum exchange. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we hit up Chicago down. music exchange first thing when we got in here. And it's hard to picture now because we've already loaded into the venue, but normally the entire back of the van would be filled to the brim with all of our stuff. Guitars yeah. here. Like, yeah. throw, like, it's wild that there's stuff here because it's usually like packed with guitars. It's probably just like the leftovers of like, you know. And we've, we've got it down to an art, but like. They do. I, yeah, Cole, the Cole's, Tetris is strong. He's the Tetris master. I'm sort of the Tetris apprentice. It, if the stuff doesn't go in the van the exact same way every time, it does not fit. Yeah, it's, it's like, so, it's one of those things where they just kind of spearheaded it. And I, I felt bad at first not helping, but then I realized it was so like, I very quickly realized it was just like a too many cooks in the kitchen situation where like if I'm helping and like trying to suggest things it's like no they have their thing the, the yeah. we, call, we call for the next item it comes in yeah, yeah. It goes in, the yeah, unspoken the rule is that whoever packs the van the first time is going to pack it every other time so. yeah I'm always told square items first square and heavy goes square and heavy and they usually go in the back corner here what and goes first, Mike? What goes back left? Oh, back left is the hardware bag. Hardware bag. So the symbol, or not the symbol, the, not the symbol bag, the drum hardware. Drum All the weird. symbol stands. Yeah, yeah. So bag. it's like this, it's like kind of like a rolling hockey bag. Stands up, guitars down the middle. And what, then in, what goes behind the uh, hardware bag? Like, what do you mean behind? Like, like in front of? What goes next? So here, and then your pedal board yes, goes here. Yes, pedal board. What's, what goes beside that? Amp. <laughs> amp. Nailed it. What's, what's behind the amp? Like here? Uh, no, like like where your here. hand is. Uh, what goes here? What goes here? SPD. Nailed it. Gotcha. What's okay. next? What, what do we have down the center? Down the middle there? is um, the in ears rig. Yes, yeah. usually. I think and, you might be able to pack this. Nah, no, yeah, no, 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 no He's doing pretty good. I so think he's, so good. I think he's packing the van. And then from here, as, as like the first layer is set, it's just kind of like I feel like the floor drum goes on top of the kick drum. Yeah. But then it's sort of like yeah, all the little what dumb gets stuff set, like what gets, gets in after. In at a certain point. Double board symbol, stick bag, yeah. Yeah. assorted merch, trash, merch, merch, merch. Merch usually goes on top of luggage. Yeah. Um, did I pass? Yeah. yeah. No, you did great. Yeah. You're packing go. the van. Tonight. I am so not packing. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is. Got a couple pictures here. Cole, this is the, the gets proud. this is the luggage pack. Um, it's about half the van full without the drums. As nice you can see, Mike was quite accurate there. Yeah, leave it on tour for a while. I'll find uh, a full pack here. Oh, that's 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 packed right to the brim. That's that's going to be. We'll slide a mic stand in, slide a guitar stand, and uh, and just hope she shuts. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking out the van. We are three fourths of Hotel Mira. Um, you can check us out online, social media, at Hotel Mira Music, Instagram and Twitter, uh, at Hotel Mira, no music on TikTok, and HotelMiraMusic.com for website, all our tour information. We have an album coming out in the near future. Uh, it may or may not be announced by the time you see this, and if not, all that information will be at HotelMiraMusic.com as well. We're going to be a very busy band over the next little while, and um, this might be our last time in a van this size, so uh, maybe we'll see you again. <laughs>